Blasphemousy 2. Welcome back, everyone. This is pre-record Blasphemous. Wow, the game fucking froze. I said Blasphemousy and the game froze. It knew. Oh, wait, never mind. No, nope. oh, my controller's not plugged in. I'm really on a roll today. If you can believe it, if you can believe it. Welcome back to Blasphemous. Um, was enjoying this and wanted to play more of it, but I didn't want to stream it because I'm not going to have time to do so. And, uh... Man, it was this or Armored Core, and I was really considering Armored Core because that game also fucking blew my mind. Well, maybe not blew my mind, but it was very good. Let's see if I remember where to go. All right, this guy can, um... Help me... What can he do? He- he can- uh, this- this guy can... Restore my... My blue. Which we may, you know, I may need, I may not. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try to go back and get it. I'm gonna try to go back and get my blue. Uh, I hope you're doing okay out there, and thank you for clicking the video. It's time for more Catholic guilt. But it's not real Catholicism. You know... It's not. It's- it's Catholicism. Like I said, it- this is like a different thing entirely, remember that. I'm seeing people who have completed this already, which is, by the way, crazy. Um, people play games very quickly. I need a break for a while if I play a game. I need some time. But I will say... ...that one of the things I've seen... ...wrong button... It, ...are people saying that this is one of their favorite Metroidvania games. Wait, I'm still missing some... There's still thorns. Wonder why that is. really don't like that guy. Join the Penicular One on his journey for redemption. In Blasphemous 2, return to Christ. Well, it's not Christ. Again, not at all anything to do with Christ. This is like... Non-Christ. Worth it. Oh, that was so worth it. That cheese felt so good.
Oh, I think I screwed up. You bet I did. Am I missing? Am I dead somewhere else on the map? Uh, no, I think I just need to... I need Jesus. Again, not Jesus. Not Jesus. Different guy. Different guy. Maybe not even a guy. Doesn't, you know, who knows? There was the, the Jesus-like person who had the, the flesh being torn off by angels, by cherubs or whatever. Could be them. Uh, this weapon, it just reminded me, uh, it's the incense burner from church. Not any specific church, of course! <sighs> well, yeah, I remember the priest walking around with a, uh... ...a very similar-looking object, not to... ...well, maybe to bludgeon. But not specifically to bludgeon. It was just kind of to create smelly air. But there's also the the bludgeoning potential. Like, you know, if you didn't believe. Of course. But that's normal. That's that's normal and, and fine and cool. Alright, you can dodge through enemies. Not this one. Dick, why would you do that, dick? Is almost pretty bad. I need some of that wacky healing. There is some healing up there. Made it. That move is pretty good, and I don't use it enough. Yeah.
I have been in here before. Ooh! Can't get in there, though. I like this whole sand mechanic. This, this is good. You, good Metroidvania level fodder. That's a great word, fodder. It's a cool one. Here our wills cross once again, O oh nameless, penitent one. For a long time now, my life has been naught but a constant struggle to fulfill a promise as old as these lands. Is it your wish to meet her? I when guess. I was but a girl. I was able to escape the horror of the deformity engendered by the miracle. A miracle that chose the clean reflection of the still waters of a lake to reveal the truth it held in store for each of those who gazed within it. The old bell, which had fallen to the bottom of the lake many years before, began to ring making the waters ripple to its eerie chime. Our reflected faces began to distort before our terrified gazes. And the miracle ended up capturing that work, that disfigured horror on the waters, as if it were a fresco, making everything that had been reflected in them disappear. As I fled, I turned my gaze towards the lake and beheld that ghastly event from afar. Penitent one, can you I don't you know what's happening. Hear? I'm sorry. What are you saying? We find ourselves in the confines of one of the ill-fated forms of the miracle that yearns to meet thee. Do you wish me to join you? If there you shall find me and in communion. Oh, you're going to help me with a boss battle. Oops. Well, maybe, maybe that's okay. Ooh! Oh, I see. Okay. Well, Dying she'll help. Clouds of dust herald your arrival. This is cool. Dust in the air that is born from the erosion of the walls, the statues and our own bones. Cryptic things, cryptic things. These stones heard so many sins that they could do no more than succumb, shuddering before their guilty echoes. Cryptic things. Echoes that could not bear the seclusion that I imposed upon them and that escaped from me. Crawling along these walls, penitent one, you will now reveal your sins, those that your tears can never atone for. Cryptic things. <laughs> oh god Oh god oh fucking christ 
That's okay. All right, so she doesn't do a ton, but you know. You know what? If she wants to throw a spear every now and then at this fellow, I'm I'm okay with that. I don't mind anymore. I think it's great. Okay. You can parry a lot of this. Fucking magic bar is all fucked up. That's dumb. No, why would you do that, Vin? Why would you do that? Got greedy, but I'm still here. God, God. <laughs> Wow. How about that? Just waste my strongest move real quick. Tried to parry and I failed. That's okay. Why do that? All right. Okay.
If I had, you know, I mean, a lot of this is just shitty playing, but if I had more magic, it would definitely be easier. But a good chunk of my magic is filled with thorns. Which, as you know, is quite panicular. Yep. Ooh, there we go. There's a nice parry. Wrong button, motherfucker. Wrong button, motherfucker, again. Oh, that was going so great. It was, uh, what? Oh, you press the button? Wow, I got all my buttons wrong. I got all of my buttons wrong. All right, cool. Oh, every button I got wrong, because I was pressing, <laughs> I was pressing the slide button. I was pressing the slide button. Instead of the, the parry b button. B or vice versa. Here's what you can't do with the big weapon, you can't parry. I just stood there. I wasn't sure what was happening. Okay. We're just gonna wombo combo. It's gonna wombo me. Locked in there. Thank you. 
stupid move. Why they're ba balder fall? Why they're balder fall? I got greedy. I'm lucky I survived that hit. Holy shit. I guess I could have upgraded my weapons. That might have helped, right? I'll tell you what that wasn't. Wasn't clean. Wasn't clean. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. Bunch of naked people carrying I, him off to hell. Radames, spent my long life listening to the confessions of so many burdened hearts. Even after death, I could still hear the echo of their mournful voices, begging to be heard again, pleading for confession. But their pain never managed to bring tears to my eyes. One of those echoes, those incessant voices, was the very voice of the miracle who commanded me to guard its sacred regret. I obeyed, and it was then that my tears did flow. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. The memory of him still hurts. So it was that a humble married couple, torn apart by their inability to conceive a child, entrusted themselves in their utter desperation to the miracle. A miracle whose light seemed to have gone out in all our hearts. The I don't know what's going on either. Like, you know, but I'm watching, I'm enjoying, radiance. I'm listening. We believed it extinct. The dying day already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. I'm pretty sure the writing is good. The miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to wear that terrible dream from which one never wakes awaits. Or if it just lowers it like a little bit like each one lowers it a little yeah okay that's cool that, that's a nice uh it's a nice device i like that monk looking motherfucker penitent one you have encountered one of the three regrets 
I got more than three. The first part of the testimony of the birth has been revealed to you, and the eminent sculptor figure of the father has descended. Find the other two guardians. Okay, I can do that, but I'm gonna need some kind of, like, reward for this. Grateful we are. Creepy you are! here wait what do I press here press up plus X press up plus X to perform a crimson ascension That's not X. I have to take this controller apart again. Because that, that button is sticking. I don't understand how 8-bit controllers can be so good in some ways and so shit in so many other ways. Oh, you can fuck right off with that. Don't tell me I can't get back over there. The purified one. What is that? Oh, what that is. Did I not get an item from the, the dude I killed? I thought for sure that would be a thing that would happen.
be looped back around. Yeah, this controller is fucking weird. It feels so good until it doesn't. Oh, I see. Okay, it's down there. make it back to the town anyway and uh, pray. Gotta do a little praying. Nothing yet. Yeah, this is gonna cost, I think, 500. Imagine paying to erase your sins. Imagine so, that. Do you wish so be it? Well, that was 1500. That your guilt has been purged. Now. That was not cheap. I feel like I got scammed. I just paid money without even trying to figure out what this is. You are now able to travel to the city from any Purdue. Alright. Something, I guess. Fine. Gotta find sisters. Found like two. Creepy ass fucking town. You point. So not <laughs> Blessed are feast your eyes upon our Thank you, happy mask salesman. Until up. Okay, 
Okay, now I can shoot lightning a little bit. Little bit. <laughs> Had a Castlevania instinct for a second there. I was like, oh, if I hit the candle, something will come out of it. Okay, I'm gonna uh, take a quick break for a second. I'll be right back. I mean, you won't even know. I'm just gonna pause. Get back. Might have been three years, might have been three minutes, but I'm back. Um, I don't know, I kind of feel like I missed something over here. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know, but... We'll just continue on. This game does have some pretty interesting music. It's, I like to call this religion music. How do you fucking do the thing? I unlock the thing, I don't know how to do it. Combos a little bit. Love the fucking death animations in this game so much. I have no idea how to do that. This is my best guess right here, but I doubt this will work. Oh, it worked! Launches crimson disc that returns to its bearer. I didn't know if that was going to carry over, like, between screens. Blood disc. Double jump or something for that. Thank you. 
church was was weird. I, I I mean, I both had family that went, and I would go just because I was dragged along to it, because I was afraid of going to hell. Because uh, well, now I know I'm going to hell, which is cool. But yeah, I I remember. Remember, it was one of those things that just kind of... I couldn't wait for it to be over. And I was thinking about Zelda while I was there. Because... That is a thing I would have rather have been doing. Playing any Zelda video game. But, I went. I remembered the songs. I don't remember them now, but I, I, you know, they were drilled into my goddamn head. Which, as you know, is part of the whole thing. It's a very important part, because the song... Communal song, just being in a room with people and hearing music and singing it is a very powerful experience. And it doesn't just get the stuff stuck in your head. It actually feels like you're part of something greater than yourself. Which is why it's done at church. I mean... You know, I'm not gonna, um... My personal opinions about church... ...and the Catholic religion aside... You know, I'm sure people have had very bad experiences. I'm sure people have had good experiences. But for me, it's not my thing. I do feel like there is some kind of unifying thing. I don't know what it is. I don't have a name for it. But, um, you know, religion and spirituality is a touchy topic for a lot of people. And, uh, there's people that probably watch my stuff, my age group and younger have a probably very negative vitriolic connotation when it comes to this stuff. And I can understand why. I I've had some negative, some good. Mostly indifferent. Mostly indifferent. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to do that at this exact moment. Well, I can't get up there anyway, so... I just remember, my, my own personal experience is that, um, I don't like how it was... ...presented in a way that if you don't go to church, if you don't spend the money... ...that bad things will happen to you... ...and your family. It wasn't quite as black and white as that. But it was a little... It was a little shocking, and I was really worried about my family going to hell. And I tried to, like, tell them, you have to go to church, you don't understand. You have to go to church, because you will go to hell. So that was, um, my first inclination that something was wrong. Well, that and also my other story is that, uh, in grade school, they would have, you know, one year you would have someone that taught religion. And religion was just the religion they want you to be. Uh, it wasn't, like, theology, which I then had in high school, which was a little bit more... It was, at least in high school, it was a little bit more like, here's a number of different ones we can talk about, but still very clearly focused around the faith they wanted you to be. But, um, in college was, was much more like, here's everything.
Huh, really? Oh, that little fella got me? I wasn't paying attention to my health. Interesting. Interesting. But, um... The thing I was gonna say was, one year, in grade school, you would have a teacher that believed that the Bible was literal. And I was asking questions in class, well, how did a dude survive inside of a whale? For several days. You know, how did this happen? How did this happen? Oh, God. I'm like, but, but we don't see any of that these days. Where did he go? So I wasn't ever really getting my questions answered. And it made me... Suspicious. Let's put it that way. Because... There was never any good answers. And then the next year, I'd have a teacher that was like, no, this is all allegorical, designed in a way to, uh... Educate. So it's just confused. It was very, like... Honestly, if that's the way they wanted to indoctrinate, it, it didn't work for a lot of people, but especially didn't work for me. It, it actually... At first, I was into it, and it was something I thought was cool, like the stories and everything, and then the um, fire and brimstone and the confusion just left me, like, cold. Oh, nice. Cool. So, it makes me wonder now, you have three different weapons. If you, you can choose each of the weapons from the beginning, so that's an interesting balancing act. Because then you have to, like, account for the player choosing any of those three. So the first three areas have to be fairly open. Enough for you to, like, find your way through. Oh, that's what those are now. Oh, okay. That was weapon-dependent. Interesting. But, you know, it does this- that definitely sets the game apart, not just from itself, but also, I feel... ...apart from even other games in the genre, to a degree. B plus X to unleash a barrage. It, I like that it also attacks behind you. That is very, very cool. I, I, the whole time I'm wondering, what the fuck are these things?
It was a fucking waste. It was a fucking waste. Why did it go past, uh, go past the table, motherfucker? Why did it go past the table? Ooh, okay. I'm doing the Dark Souls just skip by the enemy thing now. Those little motherfuckers are painful. I, I can't believe how hard the, those little bastards hit. I also feel like with religion, um, oh boy, he's getting back into the religion topic. Here we go. I do understand the utility, especially like early on when people were just like, you know, just doing crazy shit all the time. That's, I, I don't know, I'm just making that up. But like, I understand the utility of such a thing for like a species that's still hard to control. And I don't, I don't mean like you have to control them. I mean like just, you know, doing the killing and all that fucking and sucking and all that shit. Like in the, I don't mean in a good way. Um, so I don't know what I'm saying here, but <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. I understand why some people having a higher power morality thing, you know, keeps people more chill and less, you know, all over the place. But, um, after a certain point, what happens is, it, you know, it, it is used as a, as a control method in, in not a great way. But I'm also, I'm also <clears throat> under the belief that there are people that do get, even today in 2023, get something positive out of religion because there is a sense of connectedness that we all, like, crave and, like, some sense of, like, what are we doing here and what's the meaning? And, um, it can be really hard. I feel like there is something missing from humanity, just being a human. It's like, wait, why? And so I get why people do look towards religion. And, uh, the problem is if you're born one place, you get one. If you're born another place, you get another. So it's a very confusing thing. But I also know people that are critical of their specific, you know, religion's dogma. And yet, seem to be pretty decent human beings and just kind of get the good stuff out of it. But yeah, I wouldn't want to like tell people what they can believe and not to believe. Just, just don't, just don't give them money. You know what I mean? Don't give them money. They're already getting tax breaks. Insert religion here. You know, just don't give them extra money. It's they, they got plenty. They're gonna do just fine. You need that money to survive, and it's hard to come by, and everything costs a million fucking dollars for the smallest things these days. Don't, don't give the church your money. Whatever church it may be. Come on. What are you doing?
I do have family that still sends money, and I'm, I try to, like, talk to them about it. I'm like, R really? Is this something that you need to do? Is this of vital importance that you do this? Now, again, religion and politics. Bad topics for streaming. And, uh, I don't like talking about this because this is just one of those things that further divides us. And there, like, there's so much of that, and that's a very useful thing. Um, you know, for, for, uh, for many. To control and to hurt and to continue to fuck us. So I don't want- that's not my job. If, you know, there's plenty of streamers who will talk about politics and religion in great detail and share their correct opinions or whatever. Um... I'd prefer not to. I just wanted to share my own thoughts for a minute, my own experiences, why I'm not religious. Because we are playing Catholic Guilt, the game. I figured it would be a good time for it. But yeah, I don't- it's not my place to tell people what to believe, um, especially because it does create so much discord, and... Like I said, I'm- I- I really don't think we need any more division. You're all here, you're watching my videos, that's enough. I'm happy with that. But, you know, there are people that are content to direct their anger everywhere, but the most important places, or everywhere but the, the places that are most designed and, and, uh... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a very smart person, so please don't listen to me, but... Oof. But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sure some of you know what I'm trying to get at, and just, I feel like there's just already enough places that are designed to, to hurt, and we, we just keep hurting each other instead. So. And as I said in a previous stream, you know, life is just... I don't know why we're getting real talk with Vin here, but, um, life is just pre-packaged with tragedy. Even if you're born into the most wealthy, well-off family with, you know, the highest level of social status, um, you know, you still have to contend with death of loved ones, disease, all that fun stuff. And, uh, your own brain worms and, and, you know, existential threats to why, you know, what's, what's the point, all that fun stuff. So to me... What I'm trying to say is that is the kind of stuff, that's the reason why people turn to religion. It's... But it is easy to want to just point your finger and be like, it's all bad, it sucks, and it's terrible. Yeah, it is, to a degree. Of course it is. A lot of death, a lot of war, a lot of hate. A lot more division than necessary created by religion, I think. It just all... All religions, as Dracula once said. Yes, I'm quoting Dracula. But, um, I think, for a lot of people, a lot of it comes down to just being scared and hurt, and, and uh... When there was, uh, in a little anecdote, when there was death and loss in my own family, um, I... Some of my relatives and close family turned to religion. Turned to the church, because they didn't know where else to turn. And... I mean... For some people, that is drugs and alcohol. You know? 
So it's it's life can be tough and and I'm just I have a little empathy. You know, you never really know what people are going through and why they go through it. That's that's the the lesson I've learned getting older is just be patient with people. Some people are miserable rotten fucks, but what happened to them? You know, what happened to them that morning? What happened to them 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I uh, fucking... You know, you just don't know, and... I think a lot of people are very quick to ascribe evil. When I don't think anyone... I mean, yeah, there are Hitlers. But I don't... I don't know... How common it is for someone to be 100% fully, fully, fully evil. Even the most quote-unquote evil people, I think, have qualities others would look upon and be like, oh, that's okay. Or they think themselves they are not evil. But, um, you know, we live in a pretty broken, confusing, scary world, and, um, and I do think there are, there's a lot of mental illness, totally unchecked, for one. And there are a lot of people that just don't know how to live and be a proper human. And so they take it out on themselves and others. And the more... You know, the more pushback they get, the more they dig in. Unfortunately. And, uh... That turns into yet more bullshit for others as well. So yeah, I, I'm being... kind of general. And I'm sure most of you already have thoughts about this, and if not, I'm sorry I'm preaching. Here I am playing the religion game. Quote-unquote preaching. I don't- I don't mean to bring down the mood or anything, I just- that's just... You know, me, um, not just as a floating voice on the internet, but... Believe it or not, as a person... Sometimes has these thoughts. Um, but we... Again, seems kind of some of this is like obvious, but it's so easy to get into the weeds of like specific factions, which has become a very, very lucrative career for a lot of people. News, commenters, whatever. And it just keeps pushing things into that direction of like the specific reasons we're different and, and, you know, not the general, broader, deeper implications of it. And it's very frustrating, especially when I see the so-called, like, nice people doing the right nice things, just constantly, constantly finding ways to utilize their own hurt and hate others as well. So I just kind of disengage with a lot of it and try to, uh... Try to, I don't know, I guess I just try to live my own life. I, I'm far from perfect, and I need a lot of work, and I do try to seek help when needed. But I'm um, just trying my best here, and, uh, hoping to be better, and to not fall into a lot of the pitfalls Ooh, that, that make life even a little bit harder. Thank you for listening, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. That's an easy one to say, right? The TED Talk one? Always a... always kills that one. Um, but yeah, no, I, I appreciate you listening, and, and if it turned any of you off, I mean... Fuck, I don't know what to say. Though if- I feel like if whatever I said was enough to turn someone off and be like, Vinny bad... I mean... Damn. Gotta have some real shit going on for that one. But, uh, you know, you, you do tend to play devil's advocate with yourself when you have a, a large audience.
I'm done now, for real. No more. I don't feel like talking more about this stuff. Thanks, Blasphemous 2, for, uh, for bringing this out in me. That was a tough little battle. Um... Uh, boy, I have no health left. I still have no... F oh, I have one other. Increased fire damage. I guess I can't do this here, right? No. That increases lightning damage. That's a mid-air attack. How do you do that one? Press RB mid-air. And this one is just attack a lot. You gotta listen for the whispers. Excuse me. I think I can do this. Wamboat again. even rot away before my very eyes, but that will not help you. This reminds me of that moment in Symphony of the Night where Alucard goes into the confessional booth. I can wait as long as it takes, long after those insatiable worms have finished their repulsive feasting. In the end, I will discover that secret thou hast been concealing from me since the first dusty cobweb appeared under the eaves of this home, and since the first wrinkle marred thine already pale and bony forehead. <laughs> for it. But for now, behave yourself. Can you not see we have a guest at our table? Sit down, sit down. Welcome to dead. this humble table. My name is Gastula, 
for that was what my parents so desired. It is a great rarity these days for footsteps to echo through these lonely halls. And believe me, yours have not gone unnoticed. What dost thou seek here? Dost thou crave the same fate that befell so many unfortunates who ended up possessed by the very gold they sought to make their own? Yes, this manor is awash with mysteries, secrets, and curses. If only I could find the hiding place of my brother Trifon's manuscript, perchance I might have at least one less mystery to solve. How deluded you are! Do not listen to this brother of mine, dear. Oh, okay. Did you you wanted the quest item? Oh, I got it. Um, all right. Tempest hath been acquired, acquireth, uh, acquireth. What is the Tempest? Uh, ah, oh. I don't know what that is. The Tempest? What is the Tempest? I see it in here. I don't know what it is. Okay. Leave a comment if you know what that is. Leave a comment on this web zone. So that I may know what I have acquired. One way to do that. Controller was vibrating. Like, uncontrollably so. Not to deceive me with your she dead now? expression, that serene indifference that becomes thee so well. I know you hear my words, even though the look you return to me arises from the depths of the shadows themselves. Welcome, visitor, to this table of reproach and intrigue. My name is Trifon, for that was what my parents so desired. Pay us no attention to my sister's words. They're upset with their parents. It is by looking at her withered face one can sense her malicious smile. 
No, I am no longer interested in your confabulations. Thine understanding has long been governed by a dastardly imagination. I remember when you had that old blue-green headscarf. <laughs> it was so soft. You kept saying that it transported you back to other times, to distant memories. If you held it now in thine hands, perchance you might cease with the constant accusations. You would never have lost it if, just for once, you had stopped rummaging through my affair. That's cool, thank you. What sucks is, is getting back to this room that I died in. Constabulatory. It's not too bad, it just takes a little bit of effort. Please stop. Mother of fucking Christ. He appeared on me. I don't know who these creepy old fucks are, and I don't like them. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. From religion to death noises. Death duck noises, of all things, too. Sure do run the gamut here in my videos. In my Let's Plays.
What's how do you get a, around the lightning? That's all I need to do, man. Ornate chalice. Not sure what to do with that. Maybe the olds need it. If we had my brothers, no, they need the manuscript. I knew that. Promise. Maybe. Well, that was just there. Well, that happened. Might be a shortcut to unlock over this way. Senior Embroiderer's Thimble. Slightly increases... Oh, um... Slightly reduces damage from traps and falls. It's the Thimble of what? Thimble of... Friend... Friendship. Hey, Douglas. Did you find my Thimble? A little moment there. There's a moment. It wasn't a good one, but I had a moment. I got it this time. I 
Oh. Some bad timing there. I, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm struggling with this room a bit. Gotta use this. Yes! Oh my god. And that wasn't even a boss, that was just a room. This game delights in being quite difficult. Oh, there's that in there. We didn't do that. Okay. I, I understand what has to be done here now. Dying a lot. why I didn't do that earlier in the other area there. Might have been something blocking. But this is another one of them uh, bosses. Them big ones. Blade is, is amazing when the lightning happens. so sure how I feel about the thrust maneuver right this moment. The, the, the thrust gets me killed. Shit, I don't know if I want to do this right now. go upgrade some stuff, prepare a little bit for this.
This controller just gets stuck in vibrate mode. Like, I don't know, it just happens a lot. Play. Increases lightning damage, increases fire damage. Mm. At the moment I'm enjoying the lightning damage, but I don't know how, how far that's going to go for me. The altarpiece on your back now has more capacity. Here, I will wait for you. Hmm. I can get both. Fire and lightning. This game is, it's cool. There's a lot of different ways to customize. You can, uh... You can build your character in a number of different ways and use the weapon style you like, aside from solving some puzzles. Welcome, the flower, but the view. So, so be it. A thousand this time. more things? Maybe. I'm also gonna have to uh, take another moment to myself, because um, I drank a lot of coffee. Fine. Take that moment in a moment. here again. Some bullshit. Oh, here's a chalice. Shall enhance the vital light within me. There you go. Something. I shall wait for thee. Cool fucking skin. I shall wait. I shall wait. Bring me more. Bring me chalice. I don't want to know what that- what is that? I don't like it. Make a sacrifice, that's- no, it's creepy. Wait a minute, I just- I just need to see something. Is there a bell down here? No. Resistances. Mark of martyrdom. Oh, those are okay. Like big upgrades. Rosary knot should be good. Get the the wax seed. I'll save for that. So now I I can do another rosary bead. No, I can't. No, I fucking can't. That's just a quest item. Blessed are feast your Is then what a pity. What a shitty customer. Alright. Be right back once again. Back again. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, he's back. Maybe he'll talk more about religion. Oh. Hey, Link. It's me, Fledge. It's been a few years, and I've changed some things. My life is a little different now, Link. I've been working out. I've been trying to get jacked. Oh, uh, just jacked. Like... Stand. Well, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Welcome two two bosses in one palace. video. How silent, how mundane these luxurious chambers have been. Oh, they all ended Oops, up sorry. staying here, captives, trapped, petrified like golden statues, prisoners of the very riches they craved. I didn't realize the text moved Dance on its own. Now with my steel, penitent one. We will embroider your flesh. Wait, is that in silk? Sacred torment. Is this silk song? In a tapestry of blood and gold. She'll be the star of the next game, which will take seven years to come out. Onga. Ooh. Okay. Wait, no, that's- that's fucked. Because I don't have the same ability to knock her out of the level. Why- why can she do that to me? What the hell, man? Carry that. Learn the goddamn patterns. This shit's tough. Strap in, everyone. Ah, <sighs> strap in. I got it this time, though. There's gonna be people who play this and aren't prepared for the level of difficulty. It was like Elden Ring to a degree. Well, I mean, Elden Ring was like a cultural thing at that point, and that... 
you know, the graphics looked nice and maybe people were expecting more like Witcher or something or Skyrim and then you get a very, very difficult game. Oh my god, I didn't breathe. Wow. The beginning of that fight actually went really well, too. I did get it this time. Wow. It was actually kind of shocking to myself, even. Uh, wow. Okay. You do get a mark of martyrdom, so that's good. I didn't realize that from the last fight. That was, yeah, that was a surprisingly good fight. This vigil before my final journey. I, Orospina, am the daughter of the looms, of the mantle of gold and fine silver and scarlet and white. Eldest sister of the confraternity of embroiderers. Ancient <laughs> Sorry, no, I, I can't, I mean... Thread. Where I go, naught shimmers with gold. And my graceful steel will never again adorn the air with its elegant silver calligraphy. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. But their plea was so humble and true that the miracle, whose lofty reasons are beyond our earthly ken, finally stirred from its slumber, aroused from its repose, and moved by the sweet melody of such noble supplications, it blessed this couple of devout believers, whose faith had never wavered, granting them the child they so desired. The warm and golden caress of twilight invites me to close my eyes. Let the miracle cast open its black gates so I might venture to where that terrible dream from which one never wakes awaits. 
Gates. Penitent one, you have known the second of the regrets, and with it, another part of the testimony. The figure of the mother has descended, full of mercy. Anon, the upper part of the city, separated from the rest by the miracle's design, will join the rest. Find the last guardian. Okay. Yeah, this this game is like great. This is a very very good video game. Um, still a little confused about some areas. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do in a couple, but some more upgrades to get. Uh, yeah, so you know, I'm gonna continue chipping away at this because I think it's great, and uh, I don't know if it's all gonna be pre-recorded. It might. But I hope you enjoyed watching, because I certainly enjoyed playing. And uh, some good progress was made today. Oh, I can't upgrade that. Okay. There's another one I got. It's um, reduced penalties for accumulation of guilt. Mm. Hand. Oh, that's what I got. That's the fucking thing I bought. Oh, I see. I see. Biblically accurate birds. Just wanted to check something out real quick. that down there. I don't know how to... I don't know how to break that open. Maybe I do. Actually, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe you have to just do it from on high. Yeah, because I, I don't have that unlocked, whatever that upgrade is. those games <clears throat> gotta return to a bunch of areas I mean it's just the nature of the genre but yeah and there is something down here all right well whatever 
to be continued. Uh, thank you for watching once again. Game is really cool, and uh, it delivers. It's it's everything I wanted a sequel to Blasphemous to be, and maybe in some ways exceeds my expectations a little bit too. I don't say that lightly, but I mean we're not even the level design. I'm I'm enjoying too. I've only had a couple moments, but I feel like the level design is like so much better than the first one, and at least that's my memory of it. And, uh, the gameplay is just so fucking fun, and all the creepiness, the music, the, the whole package is here, and it just feels good. So, anyway, yeah, thank you once again, take care, everybody. Um, more of this sometime. And, goodbye. Sorry, had a moment.